What are you doing? We've got a couple minutes left on that play -Doh. Um, Here's what's going on. Got my shrimp creole. Well, really, I guess just the creole part. Going. I made a little what we around here like to call mirror porn. It's really kind of technically a rice pilaf. I saute up um, a very small dice of onion, celery, and carrots. That itself is technically a, called mirepoix, just like celery, sorry, onion, and bell pepper is called the trinity. And mirepoix is pretty much a base used in many different kinds of cooking. You know, French cooking. Well, anyway, I saute that up in a very little bit of olive oil and season it with salt and pepper. And then I cook my rice in either chicken broth or whatever I've got. You know, so tonight it was half chicken broth, half water. And actually it was half brown rice, half white rice, which worked. So I started it with the brown rice. And halfway through I added the white rice and then finished cooking and it worked. So that's up with a bay leaf in there. And then once the veggies are sauteed and soft, I add in the rice and then I add in a little bit of butter. Kind of smooth the flavors out. I don't know why I'm going closer to the loudness. And that's my little rice pilaf for you. Um, let's see. I guess it depends on what kind of... I'll let you know what the calories on that are. But it's really good. It's one of Mr. Oak's favorite things. So I made this Creole, people, and I can tell you it's um, and I was conservative with the spice because it called for a tablespoon of hot sauce and a teaspoon of chili powder, and I did all the chili powder, and I only did like mm, a third to a half of a tablespoon of hot sauce, and it's like just on the edge. So with that one, you leave that in your slow cooker, and then when right before you serve, three minutes before you serve, you add in your shrimp, and it cooks it. You don't want to overcook it, and then you're done right before you serve it. You can't see the babies or mamas anymore. It's broken. So, Baby. yeah. So my house is crazy. Um, my staff and I were just, oh, I'm sorry, you can't see the baby. <laughs> Laughing about how our counter looks the same here as it did at home. Well, old home, I guess. Um, and what the problem with that is, and I'll tell you what the problem is, people. It's the small things that don't belong that then attract other things that don't belong until you have a pile and neither one of us wanting to take responsibility to be the person to clean it up. Mommy, baby. Mommy, baby. Mommy, baby. Oh, you're being lovely. You're being lovely. Why don't you clean for mommy? Um. I'm a bubble. You know what's really a cute thing about it, her lately is that she recognizes shapes. She recognizes circles, but she calls all circles bubbles. Mommy, so like bubble, bubble. So you know when bubble. Yeah, there's a bubble back there. Bubble. Circle. Bubble. Circle. Bubble. Bubble. But you're right. A. Yep. Bubble. Um. A. That was pretty cute. So. Here's because my here's my big beef is that like when Mr. F isn't around, I can do it, and it's because it's the resentment factor. And I know some people don't suffer from this, and some people do. Some people believe that you know whatever, you know it doesn't have to be equal. Or I I suffer from the equal thing, people. I suffer severely from it, and um, is the ra way that I was raised, and it's really hard for me to suck it up, even though. I was working a lot in therapy before, and I've been and I've gotten much better. And my therapist could attest. So you're gonna you're gonna break those, honey, if you put those in there. Um, have you ever seen our, our beautiful uh, dollhouse that my grandfather made? And then lovingly, who's 95? Well, actually, I guess he's 93. Lovingly restored and sent to us, and then baby promptly broke all the railings off all the staircases. 
Um, okay, I suffer from the resentment. And even so when he's gone and there's nobody else, I can do it all and I'm happy and I know that we'd all be happy. And I, this is what I was saying to my therapist. And even now that I've made great steps in the past couple of years and I do do more than I was willing to do or I do the same but I don't resent it as much. Um, and with Mr. F working more and potentially making more money, I suppose I can kind of try to just look at it from that point of view. Mostly it's just this. I've got that problem, and then I've also got, if I'm really focused, trying to focus on getting the diet and exercise down, it's like, how many habits can you take on at once, you know? So right now, I'm taking on the diet and exercise, I'm doing really well, try to stick with that, and then maybe I can cut myself some slack, maybe I don't have to do everything all the time, try to do that for a couple of weeks, and then start adding in the cleaning. Maybe I can get him to go out of town so I can suck it up and get it going and then just maintain. I'm not sure. Basically, right now, I kind of wallow in a misery state. Procrastinating. You want to show people your crazy baby? What's your baby look like? Oh, it's crazy carrot head baby. <laughs> yeah, because your dad's a nerd. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Can you say check, check? Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Whoa! Bye. Baby. Yep.